The British Home Office, in collaboration with Clean Foundation and other development partners, are training personnel of the Nigeria Police Force on the benefit of crime prevention in the country. Four states, Edo, Bayelsa, Zamfara and Lagos, have been selected for the pilot program. The event is a two-day training workshop aimed at improving the capacity of personnel of the Nigeria Police to be proactive in fighting crime and other criminalities in the country. It is no longer news that crime in the country has soared and this upsurge in crime likely can be attributed to technological breakthrough which needed to be checked with the training and retraining of the Nigeria Police and other security agencies to meet the current realities. This is the submission of the police at the Prevent Institutionalization Training Workshop for the Nigeria Police in Abuja. As the world remains dynamic, crime trends, crime patterns also continue to change. Training comes to the rescue because you need to train personnel of police departments, whether in New York or Nigeria, or whether in Scotland or Spain or anywhere. You need to continue to train them to be able to respond to these new trends. To have a professionally competent, service-driven, rule of law compliant, and people-friendly police force. You can't have any of this without adequate training. A police force that is well positioned for appropriate and adequate response to the dynamics of crime and criminality in our contemporary society. The core mandate of the DTD includes planning, formulating and implementing training policies, human resources and manpower development, managing quality controls, performance focused training, coordination of training and retraining of police officers. We strive to equip our police officers with necessary knowledge, understanding, skill and competencies, appropriate attitude and behavior to discharge their duties. Prevent uh, Community Policing Initiative actually has a target. The target is on young persons who are vulnerable to being recruited into organized crime groups. We tailor interventions that are specifically unique to them to be able to build their resilience, give them skills in order to keep them away. Our focus is on the people that have not been recruited. Let's see how we can salvage them, how we can build their resilience, give them skills, and support them to be able to withstand this order. Stakeholders and other development partners explain the objective of the workshop. Under this project, we've been able to develop the prevent models, which we hope that Nigerian Police Force is going to adopt and use across their training institutions to build the capacity of officers on the prevent concept. And we hope that when the police force at the center um, adopts this initiative, we have every reason to believe that five to ten years to come, um, there will be significant reduction in serious and organized crime in Nigeria. We're working to walking through the prevent methodology with key police, people from the MPF, in order to share information about what prevent is and how it can benefit the MPF. Prevent methodology here has been designed by the MPF within Nigeria. So it's Nigerian-led with support and ideas and experience from elsewhere, but it's a different model here and it very much can't be lifted and put into Nigeria. It's a Nigerian context, it's very different. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.